Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Abby. I'm with Fitness is Medicine. Today we're going to do another great full body strength training workout that you can do in your home with minimal tools and equipment, minimal space, and easy to follow directions. Come into these workouts warmed up and ready to move. Five to ten minutes of a cardio workout just to get your heart rate up, your muscles and joints warmed up and ready for movement, and your mindset ready for movement. Now this doesn't need to be anything fancy. You can just be walking up and down your stairs a few times. Maybe you take a look, quick walk around the block, um, just something to get your body moving so you're not going straight from sitting to trying a harder strength exercise. Okay, today you're gonna need a band or a tube that's set up in a higher setting. So like I've got my um, my loop through a door at the top setting. A step if you have one, um, you can do these on your regular stairs if you need to and we'll talk about that. We've got uh, dumbbells that are probably medium weight, a loop band if you have one. And then I've got my ladder set up here as you can see. If you don't have a ladder, um, an easy thing to do is either use like tiles in your home or set out some TheraBands kind of in a ladder type um, sequence, but we'll talk about that as well. All right, let's get moving. We're gonna start with a lat pull down here. So I'm gonna sit on the floor now, if you have a higher place to loop these around, you could use that and either sit on a ball or sit on a chair or even kneel on one knee like this. I need to sit to get the range of motion because you want to be pulling down. So we're using your big muscles in your back, your latissimus dorsi. So they're called your lats for short. We're gonna squeeze down and back. Hello, Baloo. Hello. Four. Now, when you're when the bands go up, keep your shoulders down. Can you sit? Good boy. Eight. Nine. Control that band both ways. And ten. All right. Good. Hi. Will do likes to help. Okay. Now we're going to use the step to do step overs. So working on. Oh, not only the step up, but then the step over like that. So mimicking going downstairs. Okay, so what you could do instead if you don't have a step is you could go up slowly and then down slowly, just foot over foot. What we're gonna do today, um, if you do have a step, I want you to step up and then we're gonna step down with that same foot. So we're just gonna keep turning around so we'll do, and I want you to go slowly on the way down. So we're working on that eccentric range of motion. So slowly lowering you down. And that can be a source of pain if you've got muscle weakness. Use the band or use the banister or the, you know, wherever you are with a good, good support if you need it to help you. Make sure that your knee, when you go down, so I'm gonna do it front ways here, is staying straight and not collapsing in. Let's do one more back and forth. That's slowly lowering you down. It's a really great muscle builder, and it also can be a really um, big source of weakness. Now I'm gonna start with my other foot, slowly up, slowly down. Like I said, if you don't have a step, Use stairs in your home and maybe go up and down. Just go, you know, foot after foot. Maybe go up and down a few times. And then you can think about that when you're doing stairs at home. Going down slowly and that really builds muscle strength, that eccentric contraction. The eccentric means it's the lengthening. It's letting, it's, when it's going down, when it's like, if, if you're letting that muscle go down, the straightening instead of the curling. One more time, back and forth, nice and slowly. Now, you can obviously use a weight with this if you wanna add a little challenge, but I want you to do it first to make sure you can do it slowly and with control and without pain, um, and then add a weight. I'm gonna move my step out of my way here. Okay, next we're gonna do alternating lateral raises. So remember when you pick up your weights, 
Use good form, bend those knees. Now, shoulders down and back. I'm gonna put one foot in front. We're gonna do a, a tandem stance if you can. If not, do a little staggered stance or even just with your feet really close together, having a narrow base of support. So we're gonna lift one side out and then the other. Now, I'm not lifting higher than my shoulder. That's really common. People wanna, I'm not gonna do it with the weight, but they wanna lift it way up here and that's unnecessary and you don't wanna injure your shoulder. I'm also doing it a little bit to the diagonal, so I'm not doing it straight out to the side, just a little bit to the diagonal. So out to the side, but just a little bit in front of my body. It's just a little bit more natural range of motion for your shoulders. Now you're gonna notice this is a little more challenging for your balance when you lift one weight out to the side. And also you're gonna to need to work on core stability. So thinking about your core. So when you think about it, sometimes people have a hard time with that. And they say, oh, I need to suck in my tummy. And it's more like you need to stabilize, like almost like I'm gonna sucker punch you in your stomach. So if you think about what you would do if someone's gonna punch you, you tense. Think about that. That's what I want you to do to stabilize your core, not, not suck it in. It's a little bit different. One more each side. All right, good. Set those down with good form as well. Now, if you have a loop band, let's go ahead and put that on. If you don't, you can wrap a TheraBand around a couple times or you could um, you know, tie it in a knot to get the same effect here. Now, we're gonna sidestep, work on some glute stability, hip stability, but I want you to sidestep in place. So notice I've got a lot of tension on this band right now. And I want you to take a step over, tap, over, tap. Now, I'm also in an athletic stance. My knees and my hips are bent. My glutes and my quads are engaged to start. My tummy is engaged. So just a little step, tap. So this is where there's no resistance. Don't bring it all the way together each time. Step, tap, step, tap. Keep those toes straight forward. Five, six, don't let your toe go out to the side. Eight, really burn in here. Nine, you don't have to move anywhere. And rest, all right, good. That's a really good one that you don't need, you barely need any space at all to do that one. Okay, now my dog is laying in the middle of my ladders over here, which I don't think you can see, but like I said, if you don't have a ladder, use, um, you can just do imaginary in your head. You can use big tiles and like going in, you know, like on the tile, off the tile, going back and forth because it looks just like this. So I'm gonna start, I want you to go in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. All the way down, you know, maybe across your room. And but losing my way here, he's trying to help me. And then we're gonna go left, right, left, right. In, in, out, out. Now, I want you to try to do this up on your toes. Working on ankle and feet strength. Go back and forth doing that a couple times. And then try to do it more quickly. So we're working on agility here. So um, being able to move your feet quickly and having that strength and able to move side to side and forward and back is really good for fall prevention. So that's what these are all for. After you do that, let's try high knees side to side. So you're gonna lift your knees as high as you can, like you're stepping over your sleeping dog. So I'm going to step over him here, right over top of him. You can't see me do that, because he's out of the picture, but high knees. So commonly, people will step over with this one and then bring it. Both need to be high knees. That's really good for hip stability, hip strength, getting that lateral movement in, which we don't get very often throughout our day. Go through that, remember the in and out, out, and then the high knees side to side. Okay, we're gonna end with mountain climbers, and we'll see how Baloo does with me on the floor here. Lie down, good boy. So, just like the plank, good boy, lie down. You can do this with your elbows up on your bed or up on the side of your bench side of your coffee table, maybe with a pillow under your elbows. Can you sit? Sit. Good boy. Sit. Lie down. 
There we go. Okay, so we're gonna do mountain climbers. So I'm gonna start in a plank here. Then you're gonna drive your knee towards your elbows. Now, like I said, you can do this on your on your elbows on an elevated surface. I'm not putting my toe down. I'm just dragging my knee up in between my elbows. And rest. All right, good. Go through these one or two more times. Add a little cardio um, in between. Get that heart rate up a little bit. Keep your keep your momentum. Really make it a good full strength training cardio workout. And then always follow with a good cool down and stretch. If you have any questions or need any modifications, please feel free to reach out to me either privately or leave a message in the comments. All right, have a great workout. We'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody.